Hi guys, thanks for coming back to my channel. Today I'm actually heading to the airport. I seem to always be videoing when I go to the airport, but I'm heading home to be in one of my college friends' wedding. She, the rehearsal dinner is tonight and then the wedding is tomorrow in Pierre. So I'm gonna fly home being that and then stay an extra week just to hang out with my family, go to our lake house, spend some quality time with them since I haven't seen them in a couple, maybe like a month and a half, which is weird for us. So yeah, I'm gonna take you guys with me and vlog the entire trip. FYI, I'm never dressed like this when I go to the airport, especially since we still have to wear masks. I didn't want to get like acne or anything, but I'm gonna be cutting it close when I get home. I have to drive like three and a half hours um, from Sioux Falls to Pier, and then the rehearsal dinner is at five, so I'm gonna be cutting it kind of close, so I figured get my hair and makeup done, and then just touch up and get dressed for the rehearsal, so I don't usually dress like this when I go to the airport. This is in the Denver airport. It's one of the new terminals, and I just took a video to show Eli and be like, haha, I'm in the new area, the awesome area. <laughs> so we just made it to uh, South Dakota. Um, my flight was really good. It is like an hour so that's pretty nice. I'm almost up here. I My mom picked me up and I changed in the back seat because I didn't know how much time I would have between uh, when I get there and the rehearsal. Yeah, I'm excited for the wedding. She was supposed to get married last May but then with COVID she had to cancel it so everybody is ready to celebrate those two and yeah, I am so excited. It reminds, it just makes me more excited for my own wedding, so yay! And speaking of the airport, when I got there, it was so busy. I think because COVID restrictions are going away, kind of, and then it's also Memorial Day weekend, and with those two combined, it makes for a pretty busy airport. Um, so the security line was like outrageous, but I get there with enough time, so I wasn't too worried about it. But when I went through, it was just me, so I had to go with somebody else for when the when you walk right before you go through the actual security point, the dog that goes around. I went with this guy that I didn't know and he was kind of dressed weird. Anyways, we were walking and the dog like attacks him. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm walking with a drug dealer. Like, what is going on? And I think he was an actual employee and they were just testing to make sure that the dog was like on point and was gonna like stop any drugs from going across but I was just like what is going on at first and then all the like other security guys were like cheering on the dog and stuff like yay good job so I knew it was like okay or whatever but oh my gosh that just surprised me I wasn't expecting that <laughs> cabin I've been running around a lot um just trying to make sure I see everybody because this is like my second home so all of these neighbors up here like family but I'll do a little tour so we actually my dad built a cabin right next door excuse my face we were outside laying out for a little bit so no makeup but he built the cabin next to us him and my mom from scratch it's an empty lot and then we have the cabin next door that right now is a rental so yeah that's the rental hopefully in the future Eli and I can buy it from my dad so we can all be in the same area next door neighbors I love this place like Ponset <laughs> Here's down 
downstairs. You walk in here. It's the bathroom. Here's one room. It's kind of dark, but it's not. The bed's not made. This one isn't either, but there's two bedrooms. My sister and I. This is our sunroom again. Dirty. We're kind of cleaning it out. Um, and yeah, we get to see this beautiful view. Absolutely love it here. There's our rental. And then there's the log cabin that my dad and mom built. Our pontoon, fishing boat, the jet ski we didn't put in since I'm not here anymore. I'm the only one that drives it, so. Alright, here it is. Again, messy, but this is where my dad has our, his, the bears that he shot and the deer that he has shot. My mom won't allow it in the other cabin, so this is where he puts it, but it's very woodsy, typical log cabin. It's what he wanted. So there's three bears, four. There is one in the cabin. That was his first one. Um, and then my mom said no more. It's kind of our storage area too. These are the chairs for the campfire. Yeah, there's a bathroom right there. And then upstairs, there's a bed. My sister and I used to hang out in here a lot with our friends. This would be the main hub for our lake neighbor friends. I hang out in here all day, just, I don't even know, playing games, talking. This was our little cabin. I love it so much. So many memories in here. And then, yeah, my dad's favorite line is, this about cost him his marriage because <laughs> him and my mom built this by themselves together and from scratch and yeah, they just, obviously lots of fights, <laughs> but yeah, it looks beautiful and I love it. And the outside looks just like the other one, so I think it looks great. My dad made this thing by himself so he didn't have to pay to have them put in his boat lift and his docks. So this is how he puts them in. It's pretty interesting and funny to watch.
us because we just got back from the ranger ride, which you could probably see in the last video, the last clip. <laughs> yeah, we were going really fast. We went on the highway quick to get to the other section because it's not a full circle. Like, the road has to go back out to the highway and then back in for some of these areas. So, just to help with, like, traffic and not making it so fast. So, yeah, we went pretty fast on that and my hair is just... <laughs> It's really crazy, but it's the lake, so you got to be used to that. Sorry, I keep looking up, but the sun is setting and it's so pretty. As again, you can see, I did record it. It's so pretty here. I love it. And it's so calm. And the lake is like glass. I miss it so much. Hopefully one day we'll be able to move back to South Dakota so I can visit a lot more because, like, since we were like two and four, I think, my sister and I, we've been coming to like every single weekend. Honestly, every single weekend. So, this is literally our second home. It's about an hour and a half away from our farm home or where we grew up. Just the right farness away from everybody so you don't know too many people. Like, so you can get away and relax a little bit. I love it. My mom, what do we do today? We didn't do much because we wanted to relax, but this morning we went on a walk, a five mile walk. That's kind of our thing. Again, we used to do that all the time on the weekends up here. She's a power walker. Like, she walks so fast. She has such long legs and her stride is so, like, fast that I'm, like, pretty much running next to her. But yeah, it was nice doing that. We literally talked the whole time. It was awesome. A lot of wedding stuff. <laughs> and then... Uh, yeah, we get to like say hi to neighbors and just I just love how close everybody is and how friendly everybody is here. So uh, But and then we Came back and we went on the boat The pontoon and went around Yeah, it was pretty windy today uh, Not like yesterday like during the day it was windy So it was kind of cold still because I mean it is the end of May so it's not too warm yet, especially in South Dakota, the winds are pretty high, usually all the time, but it doesn't make it warmer. So yeah, we did that, again, the, hence the hair, I have boat hair, I have ranger hair, <laughs> it's just crazy, and I'm sunburnt, so I look like a mess, but I don't care, I wanted to document this because this is my happy place and I want to remember it, so. Yeah, we went on the boat ride, my dad and my mom and I, and then came back, we went and just hung out and laid out, hence the face, and just listened to music, and then, oh yeah, we put in the, the boat lift for the my dad's fishing boat. He He's a true dad, a, um, like South Dakota dad kind of thing, where he like likes to make his own things, and he made this motorized like pontoon flatbed thing to like move his lift from this end like where our rental is all the way over to like this dock um, just because it's heavy and trial and error that's what we've been doing I'm like the son for my dad so I get to help move stuff like that but I secretly like it so don't tell him that though but yeah, so we did that, and it went smoothly, surprisingly. It never does, so <laughs> that was awesome. Uh, and then, yeah, we put the boat in, his boat, his fishing boat, so that's why we have the pontoon and the fishing boat now. Uh, we're not putting the jet ski lift in because, again, that's, like, another thing, and I'm not around as much as I used to be, so no one really rides the jet ski but me, so I think we'll just put it in whenever I want to and just not dock it or whatever so and then we went to Owlsville to get some fried chicken and mashed potatoes for supper and then my dad headed home and my mom and I decided to go on the ranger so we went around to a few areas that are a little farther away around the lake it was just a good day I'm excited tomorrow we are heading home but First, I think we're going to go on a walk. It felt good to go on a walk, so um, go on a walk, and then we're going to head home. I get my hair done, thankfully, <laughs> my hair done, and then 
colored, so we'll see how that goes. I'm excited. My hair is getting way too long, so I just need a, like a healthy trim. So, and then just like a few highlights, I think, and layer around my face. So that should be fun. And then I'm gonna go see my grandma. I'm excited. Uh, I'm so close to my used to be so close to my grandparents, and then all I have left is my grandma. So. I need to spend a lot of time with her while I'm home, so I'm really excited to see her and catch up, and then I think next day hopefully I can see my best friend's uh, baby. I haven't met him yet, so I'm really excited. I hope I get a, we can schedule time to see each other, and then I think Thursday my dad, mom, and I are going to um, drive out to Rochester and then spend the rest of the weekend with Lexi, uh, do some things just so we're all as a family hanging out. Again, our family's pretty close, so we like to spend a lot of time together, especially since we're so far apart now. Not that far, but far for us. So I hope you guys keep watching because I'm here all week and I'm going to be recording a lot. So. this really cool boutique where there's a bunch of different vendors that have their own little like cubicle kind of and yeah there was just so many cool different things we stopped here quick before our hair appointment and yeah we'll definitely be back music playing in the background when we recorded this but my mom and I both got our hair done she got hers cut and colored and then I got five inches off which was a lot for me and then I got it colored so we feel like brand new women furniture and these couches are amazing first there is a on the side it like moves it up and down like the headrest it's just a button and then this moves the seat that is just crazy and then this <laughs> is lights it's pretty cool and then this comes down into this huge thing and then finally just a usb port or a plug-in so you have to plug this couch in to the wall but these couches are legit i love how they upgrade when my sister and I move out but these couches are awesome just thought I'd have to show you guys <laughs>
Lexi showed us where she worked downtown at in Rochester. She works at Mayo, so it was fun to see where she worked. We've been there before. Uh, she was actually there for herself as a patient, so it's pretty cool to see her working there now. Colorado. I got back uh, yesterday. Eli picked me up. It kind of stinks. We live 45 minutes from the airport, so it's kind of an all-day thing for him when he has to leave and then come back, but it's okay. So yeah, we got back. I got back yesterday, and then right after we got back to town, we went and saw our potential puppies. Um, we're going to get a Bernice Mountain Dog from a breeder. They are almost ready to be taken home. I think we have two more weeks, and then we get to take one home. We're going to get a male. But yeah, this is our first pet together. We're really excited. We got to play like in the backyard with them, and they are the cutest thing. It was so hard to pick one out. We're not too picky. We just, there's some that are going to be really, really big, and I don't want that. I don't want a huge, huge dog. And you can tell by like their paws. So yeah, we're really excited about that. We're trying to get everything ready to bring him home. Um, yeah, I'm going to go work out. I missed my, my bike. She's awesome. <laughs> it's not the Peloton. It's the Mix Fitness. It's like a third of the price and literally does the exact same thing. So I ride it like every day. I love it. There's bike classes and then you can also do like a floor workout and sometimes they're like in the same class but yeah I love it. So thanks for watching this vlog. It's probably all over the place because I was all over the place when I was at home. The wedding. I went home to the lake and then I went to my parents house and then we drove up to uh, see my sister. So We've been all over the place, but thanks for watching, and I'll be posting more.